Hi guys, we're well into December now, so we decided it's finally time to decorate our Christmas tree. Naturally, we will have two assistants helping us and we'll do our best to make it as cat proof as possible. So we'll share with you some tips and tricks as to how we're decorating our tree and what has worked for us last year. And of course, there will be lots of play with cats and we are also going to open another day of our advent calendar. So we have everything that we need in this box here. So all our tree decorations are inside. We also have a very old school CD with Christmas Michael Bublé songs. And um, this only comes out this Christmas. I know you can just go on Spotify and listen to it, but it just makes it so much more special for me. Um, and then we have our two cats here. Um, they were very interested in the box just a second ago. Uh, but they now decided to chill both of them so we'll see what happens when we go to the tree and of course our tree our tree is in the bedroom for now we just need to figure out where we're going to put it in the living room um we went for a fake well artificial tree this year um because we don't have that much space and we always end up going for this huge real tree which is amazing but it just wasn't feasible this year and I am quite excited because it's smaller we can be a little bit more picky with what decorations we're going to put on it so I think it will be really beautiful. The first thing that we'll have to take care of is we need to reorganize the space a little bit so the plan is we're going to put the Christmas tree right here in the middle between the desk and the TV stand. So uh, the desk will probably go sideways now to create a little bit more space and we'll try to move the TV a little bit closer to the door frame as much as we can. I don't want any cats running into the TV and um, Bluebird likes to fix the stuff behind the TV because apparently it breaks really often and um, so he just goes and you know fixes the cables really quickly for us. So let's get to it! We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah isn't that amazing in Christmas times. Not sure what happened to this guy. Bluey! <laughs> Bluey! <Bluebell. laughs> <laughs> well, while Matt was moving things around, I laid out all of the decorations, so I am choosing what we are going to use. And do you ever get that as well with Christmas decorations? You get things out and you're like, where did I get this from? And I just don't remember, we've got this bag of these really cute gold cones and I can't remember where they're from, like, I didn't even know we had them. Anyway, these are my favourite ones, or most of my favourite ones. Um, so we've got those really beautiful ballerinas, which I just love them so much, this is like a dream Christmas decoration and then we've got some really cute ones here we've got these glass snowballs the actual glass they are actually heavy we have some other baubles like normal ones uh, we have some snowflakes purse and then these snowballs so of course you want the smaller decorations at the top of the tree and larger ones towards the bottom uh, but because we have cats we also have a few other restrictions <laughs> when it comes to it. So the large decorations that are more shaped or, um, or heavier, like the snowflakes that we have around here, and they will still be um, across the top of the tree so the cats can't really get to it. But things like these bubbles, which are really, really light and large, will be towards the bottom. So if the cats knock them over, knock them down, then nothing will happen really, except if some glitter falling over. Uh, we also have, again, glass ones here. These will be a little bit higher up, so Bluebell can't take them down. Anyway, that, that is the plan. We're going to see how it's going to work. Excuse me, mister. Excuse me, mister. Well, this is actually a good way of checking what uh, decorations he will be most interested in. <laughs> so here we go, testing. Um, oh, which reminds me. Matt, do you remember these? <laughs> That's his favourite. 
Oh my god, we woke up so many times during the night last December with Bluebell like bringing it to the bed. We chilling and having a good good time. That the top must be coming off as well. Clearly, I don't have experience with artificial trees. So, when we brought it home, Bluebell was so so interested, um, and we figured that it might be because it actually makes noise, and the real tree doesn't make that much noise, uh, like this crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but so also, it's just a Christmas tree, so he just loves it. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe the smell of the real tree wasn't as appealing to them, uh, but they're definitely more interested in the artificial one compared to the real tree. So we're going to see how long this will last. But this is a first observation that we made uh, in regards to the differences between those two trees that we've had so far. And if you have seen our previous vlog, maybe you saw that we were on the hunt for a Christmas tree. Um, and normally we buy it quite late actually, um, but this year everything sold out so quickly. I have no idea why, maybe like more people would spend time at home and they actually want a Christmas tree. Maybe some people just don't have a Christmas tree other years, but there was only a few left in the B&Q when we went yesterday. And this is a display one and it was half price, so we paid £19 for it. It's a little bit crooked, but we are now going to straighten out the branches and make it look as full as possible. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a... The mood is not the same when you're recording because we keep having to stop Michael Bublé playing in the background because otherwise we would get a copyright claim. Really able to do that. But there is something you can do to help us to afford that. If you pull that like button, it does help a lot. <laughs> but what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to make this 19 pounds tree look like it was 119 pounds. That's my goal. So once I'm finished, you can let me know in the comments below how much would you pay for it. We have a bit of an emergency. Pixie fell into number 9 and number 11. <laughs> Today is 8th of December, so let me just rescue this door. <laughs> Bloom is here. So the idea behind this advent calendar was that they can open it with their paws. Um, so as we mentioned, it's 8th of December, but they still haven't really figured out completely how to do it. So they need a little bit of help. <laughs> it's inside, look, Pixie. <laughs> she was stealing all of these parcels as we were making the advent calendar. <laughs> oh no! I think she'll take it now. That's fine, just let her do it. <laughs> she knows. She knows it's white fish. She's <laughs> like covering everything with his mane. <laughs> He's fallen into different ones. Okay, well we can't wait any longer. We have a Christmas tree to decorate. So guys, you opened the 25th. <laughs> Yay. Yes. Pixie. They're really big ones. So they're taking their time to eat it. Nice. 
Cool guys, so a really quick break from decorating the Christmas tree. We got hungry, so we decided to make some hot chocolate and also we ordered takeaway. So we've got some um, Thai food. Um, I actually don't know what we ordered because Mon decided to surprise <laughs> me. So I have my favorite and I never actually know what it's called. So I have to explain that it's on the specials menu. Um, but today when we were picking it up, I asked and I made sure that I will remember it's called Chu Chi Curry. And it's a coconut curry with tofu and it's so nice and I just uh, asked them to make it a little bit more spicy. I love it. And then for Matt, I ordered patsu with, um, with tofu as well. So very exciting. And Matt put some rice in his noodles. I don't know why. <laughs> Here we are. I didn't know I had noodles to be fair, and I kind of just <laughs> went with rice. rice. Yeah. <laughs> because it was a surprise, but yeah, it's so, so nice. I love it so much. So I've got my hot chocolate. We finished our food, it was amazing. And I also finished puffing up the Christmas tree. Uh, so I am actually really happy with how it turned out. The only thing is that this is the front, and there's this massive orange sticker. So I think we're gonna turn it around a little bit. But yeah, let us know what you think and if it looks as 19 pound tree or does it look a bit more expensive? Because I think we did a pretty good job, right? I think you did a fantastic job. Step one, decorating the Christmas tree. Put the lights on. And the lights are on. So now we're going to put decorations up. That's like my favorite part. The lights are like, it's such a pain. <laughs> <laughs> I can appreciate pre-lit Christmas trees now. Um, and I think I would like one in the future. Um, but yes, the decorations are like the best thing. Cats are actually pretty tired. So I don't know how much they will be helping. <laughs> but Blue Boy is just chilling on top of his house. Looking nice and Christmassy. Oh. See, I also noticed that these feathers are all right. <laughs> there is one here, another one here, and another one next to the box. And I remember leaving them there. So I think when we went to pick up the food, someone was playing with them. There is also some cat fur left, so we can test it for DNA. <laughs> Also, while we're here, you might have noticed that we changed the cushions on our cat tree to this beautiful Christmassy green colour. It just looks like Christmas tree green. I love it and the cats do really like this as well. Um, it's a little bit different material, so that's why I'm saying they like it because they probably don't mind what colour it is. But yeah, I, <laughs> I do like how it looks like. It just makes our whole living room look a little bit more festive. Hi guys, you okay? Yeah, me and me were just playing with the packaging. And the feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I know who that was. <laughs> Did you play with them too? No, nah, Pixie didn't play with them. It was all Bluebell's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Bluebell. <laughs> Sometimes I actually feel bad for Bluebell because yes, he can be really mischievous, but whenever like we hear some something drop or some weird sound, we just, <laughs> well, especially Matt, always assumes it's Blue Boy. He goes, oh, Blue Boy. And then he goes somewhere and it's Pixie. <laughs> you know? So it's not always him. She can be naughty sometimes, too. I wonder what's happening here. Oh, yeah, of course it's Blue Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> it was all quiet and peaceful for now. Well, until now. So... <sighs> Do not jump on the tree, please. Or if you jump, at least tell me when so I can get on the camera. <laughs> Fair enough. It's totally jumping. <laughs> right, so the first thing I'm doing 
is I am definitely putting the decorations towards the end of the branch so they're not just hanging at the very edge like this they are more inside of the tree so these are just round baubles so that's one reason for doing it but the second reason is that the cats won't be as likely to take it off then and it will be just a little bit more secure now with um other decorations that you would like to have more towards the front <laughs> she's testing it was just testing what i just said uh, you can if the string is too long you can double it up or shorten it and then hang it on the tree if you want it a little bit more towards the front and that way again it will be harder for cats to take it off it will be secure and then you can also have it more coming out of the tree and just be more visible and i can promise santa's coming to visit no he wouldn't miss this in christmas times Um, if you know that your cat will definitely try to get some Christmas decorations off the tree or it will try to eat it, you have two options. One, not putting any of the decorations at the bottom, but then you're risking them trying to take the decorations from the top. Um, or you can just choose very light and safe decorations at the very bottom, like this pair. Apart from I'm just a bit worried about these sparkly bits coming off when she's biting on it. So we'll just have to rethink that. Uh, but it is very light, so if it falls, it will be fine. She can just play with it, pull it, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't break. Um, so yeah, definitely try to put something like this at the bottom as opposed to the glass heavy things that can fall and break and make a lot of mess and be potentially dangerous. So Bluebell has just been supervising from the chair, um, <laughs> but the tree is almost finished and I am so happy with how it looks like. It's beautiful with all of the super cute decorations. I think it looks really good. I'm actually really, really happy. And I found it actually really nice, like working with the artificial tree. It was actually so much easier to like be able to to bend the branches wherever you need them to go and yeah. uh, I feel like you, you could make it a lot fuller. Uh, I know it's not obviously the same as real tree but it, like in terms of like putting decorations on that's the best option you can get. Yeah it was so good especially with decorations like this one so this is one of the heavier glass baubles. Um, I have put it on one of the branches lifted it up and then moved another branch to stop that from falling if it if the cats were to play with it or something um so that's very secure on here and then still looks really full and you can really easily get this 3d effect of getting the bubbles inside of the tree and some out and for example with this one you know when like bubbles sit on the side of the branch with this you can just like lift them up move them over make some space for the bauble to just hang free and it just looks so much better i also made executive decision of lifting up the pear and at the bottom i only put a few of the gold leaves so these are on a wire and they're very secure on here so we've got a couple across the bottom and then there is nothing really hanging <laughs> He's not happy about it. No unnecessary temptations. <laughs> so now there is only one thing left to do and of course it's the top star. So Matt, we'll do the honours. Is it wonky? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Very much to my left. Move it to the, towards the wall. Yeah. Is it less wonky? <laughs> yeah, it's good now. It's good. So, so 
This is actually a light up star, but the lights are not that great, so we will need to turn the lights off to show you how it actually looks like. You're going to face it the other way? Yeah. Okay. He only has lights on one side. Oh, yeah. And Matt is actually standing on the Kotec Tam House. I didn't blood. actually know that it's going to hold up your weight. Since Blubbo took my chair, I had to take his house. <laughs> She's just chilling here. Okay, let's turn on the star and uh, turn off the main lights. As I mentioned, the star is quite underwhelming, so I'll probably fit it with some different lights. <laughs> yeah. But the rest, I mean, I think one did a fantastic job. It was me. a teamwork. Even the cats helped. I am so happy with it. It's so pretty. It's really good. Very happy with how it turned out. And I think this is pretty cat proof, but we will probably find out during the night. Uh, but of course, if your cat is very um, insisting on getting inside of the tree and actually climbing it, you might need to secure it to the ceiling with something or get a little bit of like a heavier base. Um, but with our cats, they just jumping a little bit on the decorations, but they're not actually climbing onto the tree. So I think this will be absolutely fine. One more thing that we did in order to cut proof the tree um, is obviously we took care of the cables. So instead of leaving everything out in the open for cats to play with, um, I actually brought like a little basket and I put all the cables and like extension lead into the basket. So naturally there's a lot less temptations for the cats. Um, so you have like just like a very short cable leading to the tree and then to the to the wall um, which obviously there's nothing dangling <laughs> nothing moving yeah. around and um, makes it a lot less likely for cats to get interested in and, and I think uh, that looks just more tidy as well yeah. than having lots of the um, uh, cables from the lights because we've got two sets of lights on here so um, it just makes it a little bit Nicer. Yeah, neater. <laughs> okay guys, so this is our Christmas tree complete. I think we did a fine job and Mom definitely made it look a lot more than 19 pounds. <laughs> I hope so, but you guys will be the judge, so let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah. In any ways, um, we'd love to see your Christmas trees, so please feel free to tag us in all of the pictures of your Christmas trees or Christmas decorations with on Instagram. <laughs> Ideally with cats, <laughs> hopefully not on the Christmas trees. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon in the next one. Bye. Bye. Blubo is still supervising, by the way. You did such a good job. Yeah, time for cleaning. <laughs> and some paw action. I think this chair is a little bit too close to the tree and he noticed the bird. <laughs> that was another one of his favorites last year. Bye bye, baby. <laughs> bye. Meow me no! <laughs> he's in he's in cat prison now. Yeah.